Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carberg, and today we are going to be having a look at the Canadian dollar. The Canadian dollar has seen quite a bit of momentum and strength in recent weeks and months, and this has largely been due to the rise in commodity prices, of which Canada is quite rich in. And this has been exacerbated because of the Russia and Ukraine crisis, um, with limited ability to access oil and gas. Um, the Canadian dollar has seen a nice rise on the back of this. In addition, the Canadian Central Bank was quite quick to raise interest rates and become change its sentiment to being hawkish, whilst other central banks across the world were a little bit slower, and this has seen it have that significant growth. So we are going to be having a look at the chart for the, firstly, we're going to be having a look at the Euro and the Canadian. And as we can see over here, having a look at the long-term chart, We've got a long-term support at 1.31, and we've got an even longer support. Sorry, just bear with me, it's taking a while to load. And we've got an even longer support just over here at 1.21. As we zoom into the more recent chart, the more recent timeframes, we can see that we're just sitting on this spot at 1.3, 1.31. And that of course is that one of those support points. So we would expect either, you know, a bounce back up here, depending on the sentiment, or a breakthrough to 1.21. And that's just on the shorter term timeframes. We can see again, we are testing this level here. Similarly on the British pound CAD, um, as we have a look out, we can see that we've got these long-term support zones between 1.5 and 1.45. And at the off 1.48 rather, as we zoom in, we can see we're sitting right on this 1.5 kind of zone. And again, similarly, if we were able to break through, we may see a drop to 1.46. Or if not, and the sentiment does change, we may see a bounce back up potentially to 1.75. Um, and that, you know, for any kind of trader is what we would be looking for. These kind of points, you know, potentially we test back up here at 1.67. Um, but you know, we would be requiring waiting to see for what some kind of sentiment change. But until then, good luck trading and thank you for listening.